Sometimes when you find the data you need, it can be in a geodatabase format. So for example, US Census Bureau published Tiger Line Geodatabases, and I came across this one that has legislative areas in a national geodatabase. I download that and it's a zipped geodatabase file. So what I do is I downloaded this and unzipped it and now I'm going to show you it in the folder. This folder contains the download and the zipped download is in this folder. So I'm in a Windows machine so I'll show you how I would add this to QGIS. I'll go to the data source manager button and as you can see I've already browsed to the .gdb file. I, before I did that, I clicked the directory button and I've changed it here. It says open file GDB and that's fine. So that's what we're looking for. And I'm going to click add, add layers and close. And then we have the three layers that are contained within that geo database. Now, if I go back to that and actually click on the zipped download I don't see it there but if I go back to file and go back to the browse button and I try and add it via the original zip file and click open and add you'll see add layers and close it will still work that way too the first way is the way I'd recommend though so I go here directory browse to the unzipped GDB select folder and then you can add it that way. So that you can see it's very easy to get it into your QGIS project and work with this kind of data.